Welcome back to our business.com channel where we talk all things business. Now today I will be talking about QuickBooks Online, more specifically it's AI agents. Now you may be aware that QuickBooks has recently embedded a new virtual team of AI agents within the platform. Well today I'll be walking you through the finance AI agent, showing you some of the key features and what it can do for your business. Let's take a look around. For this demo, you'll see that I've created a business account with artificial data using QuickBooks Online with AI agents enabled. Feature availability can vary by plan, but all of your AI agents work together and can be found in your business feed here on the left rail. For example, here you can see I have five active AI agents included in my plan. The accounting agent, payments agent, customer agent, finance agent, and project management agent. This business feed shows a range of all of the AI highlights for me to look through, so I will show you that really quick. I especially like that you can filter them if there's something immediate that you're trying to find. But anyway, here you see that I have some overdue bills to pay, upcoming bills, my accounting agent, which I am actually creating another video on, so be sure to check that one out. The finance agent, which is what I will be showing you in this video. Some overdue invoices, expense insights, and profits and loss reports. If I had other AI insights, those would also appear here. This is just what I currently have um, in my plan today. So scrolling back up to the finance agent, which analyzes financials, flags deviations from targets, and turns raw data into KPIs, forecasts, and scenario plans, you can see that it's put together a monthly financial summary for me. Now, these monthly summaries, I believe, are generated on the fifth of each month for the month prior. And if you look between the first and the fifth, you may see the summaries for the two months prior. I only have enough data set up in this account starting at the end of August, which is why you don't see any data before then in this graph here, but otherwise your data would show here if you had that. When you see these little snowflake looking icons, you know this is the AI agent calling your attention. So we'll take a look at the financial summary that it created for me. In your financial summary, you can change the reporting period that you want to view, as well as the accounting method. At the top, the AI agent shows you some quick performance highlights on important financial details like significant spikes, declines, cash flow activity, all that. You also get a clear look at your total income, cost of goods sold, gross profit margin, total expenses, and net income right here at the top makes it really easy to see. And a neat detail that I liked was that these are actually jump links. So clicking on one of these will immediately take you to that section in this summary. As we go through the financial summary, you'll see this is where the AI agent gets a bit more advanced and helps you really dive into those insights. On the right, it's showing us a brief data analysis, as well as a list of reasons for why this is happening. So it's showing the what and the why. This is helpful for making informed decisions and effectively managing your finances. Here on the left, you see that little AI snowflake again, which is telling us to drill down into this insight. And this is where you can interact with the agent. So let's say I want to learn more about the income generated from this demo customer that I've created. It will populate a breakdown of activity, a clear chart that can be expanded, and a reasoning based on the data. And we can repeat this process for other income details. Moving through the financial summary report, you see that you can view the what and the why for many other important financial data points. Clicking into those AI agent callouts, you can continue to see similar data and AI reasoning like I just show you with the income. We can assess cost of goods sold, gross profit margins, total expenses, net income, and accounts receivables and payables. And if I had cash flow trend, that would appear here. I don't believe I have enough data for that yet. So that was all the in the finance agent monthly financial summary report. 
But like I said, you can also change that report period and accounting method to get the data that you are looking for. Once you've addressed the key areas that the finance AI agent has called out for you, we can go back to our business view. And I wanted to point out just one more thing. So you know how I said that your AI agents work together? Well, here's a quick example of that. In this profit and loss report, you'll see a list of insights from the accounting AI agent. And like I said, I have another video on that, so check that one out. But if you scroll to the top, you can click into that financial summary that I just showed you. This is just another way for you to access that information so you can easily find the data and AI recommendations when you need them. As a quick summary, the finance AI agent can analyze financials and service insights on KPIs, cash flow trends, and variances against plan, run forecasts and scenario planning to test assumptions and see projected impact, alert on deviations from plans or anomalies, and explain contributing drivers, feed decision-ready summaries into the business feed with accept and dismiss controls, and work alongside your other QuickBooks AI agents for a connected view. Now, as a best practice, Treat AI suggestions as decision support. Review explanations, verify mappings, and keep the chart of accounts clean for the best signals. So that was all that I had for y'all today. I hope this video gave you a better idea of what QuickBooks Online and its finance AI agent can do for you. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. I'll be putting out more QuickBooks videos as well as a ton of other business-related content. Thanks for watching.